And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Dr. Shavi M. Ali, the powerful weekend ahead. Proton, positive electrical charges, and electron, negative electrical charges, flex energies are building, as also are solar flares, solar winds, neutron counts, and the KP index. Our moon is in tropical Pisces, spiritual elevation or delusion according to levels of consciousness, all day today, Friday, October 7, 2022, no voids, long or short. Pluto moves direct on Saturday at 5.56 p.m. EDT and the full moon occurs on Sunday at 4.55 p.m. EDT in tropical Aries. And as mentioned in a previous article, there will be a solar eclipse in tropical Scorpio on October 25th. A lunar eclipse occurs shortly thereafter on November 8th in tropical Taurus. We are in overlapping portals now for all of these events and this weekend is particularly important because the full moon in Aries will be in opposition to our sun in Libra and in conjunction with the healing planet Chiron in Aries and all of this can create a pull and tug sensation. Many people will want to be busy, on the go, engaging in all sorts of doings but at the same time will feel a need to relax and be quieter. All weekend there may be energy spikes and then a sense of energy drain creating a roller coaster of feelings and thoughts. Cosmic forces have already been very strong for most of the Northern Hemisphere this summer or winter in the Southern Hemisphere and into the seasonal shift which began on September 22nd. Our planetary vibrational frequency and amplitude, commonly known as the Schumann Resonance, is continually stirred up by cosmic energetics and so is all of creation for the development of multidimensionality that is a difficult concept for many to comprehend because for many thousands of years in the way that mankind calculates time frames the focus has been of a material orientation which occurred with the gradual pummeling downwards of collective consciousness higher knowledge became only for the select few who demonstrated a greater capacity for intellectual and spiritual elevation. They became and are the lights of the light who guides others, sages, prophets, high priestesses, high priests, gurus, acharyas. Yet there were and are others who fought and still do fight against the light consciously or unconsciously. This is like coming upon a thick brick wall that must either be climbed over or destroyed in order to get to the other side where treasures await. Some people refer to this situation as an energetic war and some as the war between darkness and light. So here comes that phrase again, the twilight of Kali Yuga, a time of intensified chaos. This is why light is so powerful, however. Remember thousands of years of disharmony is being removed from planetary cellular records and DNA. This includes human cells and DNA as well. Everything is becoming new. As cosmic forces further level up this weekend as the coming full moon and Pluto's direct motion come in, spend some quality time engaging with nature and with your higher self. There are many opportunities given to us for such relaxation and tuning in such as when several planets are retrograde together, when equinox or solstice portals occur, when solar and lunar eclipses happen, and when other cosmic events are strong. All of these have portals, beginning stages, crescendos, and ending phases. Each portal provides permanent encodements, wisdom, for those who are in attunement or anchored to source frequency. The renewed journey through the photon belt, a band of intense light through which our entire galaxy is traversing, which occurs approximately every 26,000 years, is an amazingly transformative trip. We are inside of only the first of its 12 vortices, a point that we are purposefully reminded of often, with the 3D world constantly pushing its political, sociological, economic, medical agenda, so too must higher knowledge be brought to the forefront in this now era. So at sunset this evening, wherever you are in the world, light a candle and some fragrant incense. Play your 528 hertz miracle tone with your tuning fork or Tibetan singing bowl. Recite a healing prayer from your preferred holy text. 
These actions will announce your weekend of regeneration, revitalization, and renewal as cosmic forces surge. Quick messages about CMEs, coronal mass ejections or CMEs, which are proton and electron and more plasma particles launched off from our sun, explodes with solar flares. Do not merely soar off and then end in their billowing effect. They can last in their pulsations for several hours. This is what has occurred with today's M1 solar flare and what occurs with most flares. Thus, their vibratory power can be a consistent photonic wave of energetics. Our planet shifts and stirs as these CMEs exit from our sun, arrive to our planet, and then leave an after effect. This is a light reception and acclimation process for Earth, Gaia, and all of creation. Even CMEs, which are not directly focused on our planet, still have an effect because of our sun's immensity of size. The entire solar system is activated by the intensity of constantly incoming strong light from various cosmic forces. From DisclosureNews.it